Hey folks, welcome back. Stranded Alien Dawn, and it's just before dawn. I am just was wandering around our map, and I found uh, this little display of what we'll call, uh, we'll call them lightning bugs <laughs> at night. Sunrise, well, we got moonrise right now. Sunrise is coming. Uh, Paulette is not doing good. She's got a stomach ache. Hmm. She is sleep. Oh, she's she's standing up. Oh, so is Rita. Oh man, what uh, what happened? I don't know. That is odd. Our food's been doing pretty. The heat wave. Oh, would the heat wave be decomposing this stuff much faster? Um. I'm looking for our meals. I got the one there. 19% on that one. Uh, meals in general. Yeah. Uh, this guy. We got meals over here. We have one. No, that's a that's a healing balm. Okay, that's all the meals we've got. Hmm. Okay. We have a heat wave, and it is all of our food is sitting out in it. So. Luckily, the raw ingredients are not falling apart too quickly. It's just after we cook it. Yeah, that one's not advised. So, hmm. Now, a second cook stove makes more sense. Let's copy this. In a situation like this, I could have... Uh, that can't do that uh, the heating thing there. Uh, the, uh, the light. Um, I could have two people making porridge real quick for breakfast tomorrow hmm so light would have to go away there isn't another place other than right here does that work I mean think about that we've got raw ingredients out here anyway so I guess that's not the worst place for one except it's in the way of the didgeridoo yeah it won't let me okay Hmm, yeah, but a second cook stove would be good, but I don't see where to put this torch. It will not fit anywhere across the top of this then. I believe. Let's try that. Copy. Can I go anywhere in front of this guy? I cannot. Okay. So we could put another mushroom um, shroom torch in there. Let's pause a second. I want to get as much of this done as possible really quick because there are no meals so let's toss this guy uh deconstruct simon you're up you are you get the uh, the duty of deconstructing even though you're not assigned okay i'm gonna do that once that's done we're going to place a stove and hopefully the process of um transferring all the work orders from one stove to another is easy. Hopefully it's just a copy-paste thing. Uh, copy you, drop you in there, and you probably aren't qualified. Well, it didn't tell me no. So you can at least grab all the materials. And then maybe I'll have Carter walk over here and start building it. Yeah, moving all the stuff out of the way, grabbing more materials. Five in the morning, Edmund is up somewhere. Edmund, you're not in bed. You are handling a fireplace. Why don't you come down? I'll just draft you to come down. You can work on the stove as soon as Simon drops this off. So is that all the materials now? Yes. All right. So Edmund, undraft, and you can construct the stove. Simon is free to research. Um, Simon is actually in decent enough condition he's got the fastest run speed and we left a bunch of food or, or fruits and and uh wood over here how about we send simon back to go get these um i don't know that the or see if i can find one zoom in a little bit there we go that these are going to decompose any faster grab where's the hundred i can't seem to get anything but the bush Okay, let's do it this way and grab the bush roots. There we go. Now, can I pass over and get... I can't. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of them, too. 
There's more than one trip's worth. Darn. Got some over there. Yeah. Then let's send him to go get the rest of the wood we left behind. Which is here. So Simon, you got the best run speed. Let's have you come up here and haul wood. Uh, seems like there's more than just that. If there isn't, then... Okay, we'll go for the berries. So right there. Haul fruit. Oh, bush fruit. Okay, Edmund, you were over here. You are going to build the stove. We'll get Paulette and, and Rita. They're the most talented for the cooking skill to quickly whip up some breakfasts. And we'll see if we can get through this heat wave. Yeah, refrigeration is going to be pretty important here soon. Oops. Bump my space bar. All right, so who is that? That is Carter waking up. He is handling the fireplace. Um, Edmund went up here and built a fireplace, and I got to thinking in between episodes, it's burning wood right now. <laughs> Just heating up the heating up the heat wave. All right, so where am I? I missed it completely, right there. Edmund, where did you go? You are constructing a distillery. Okay, now you can I? I. Apparently cannot. I'm not getting the sense of a copy paste for the recipes or for the, the the tasks. Darn. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here's an improvement on RimWorld. Ha uh -huh. You built. It doesn't matter where the stoves are or how many you have. The recipes are universal. They translate into each of them. So I don't have to do anything. And we are fueled and fueled. Okay. So if Rita and Paulette... Paulette is waking up. Can I get you to make some grain porridge? And Rita, how off are you? 85? Now I'll get you to do it. So also make some grain porridge. Okay. And right off the bat, Rita gets a bonus because she loves cooking. So we'll get some, we'll get four meals on the shelves real quick. Boy, I wish I could throw this one away. There's just, if I click on it, there's no clicking on it. Oh, oh, there is a throwaway. Look down there at the bottom. Well, what do you know? Now, where do they throw it away to? Um, inquiring minds want to know. Let's have Edmund do it. Throw away food. All right, let's see how this works. Now, Paulette got an earlier start. I was wondering if she's faster. Okay, you're taking that, and you're just going to... And it's gone. <laughs> okay, I know how to throw things away now. What are you? What are you? Um, I click on it individually. Uh... I guess that's bug meat. Man, it doesn't look very appetizing, does it? Never looked at it this close before. Ooh. All right, let's get some real foods on there. So Edmund is taking a walk, and here in a little bit, we can get everybody but Simon eating some food. Let's see if Paulette, she is tailoring. So your food is, yeah, let's get everybody a meal. So, Paulette, why don't you eat some green porridge? And Edmund, you can also, as soon as Paulette is done, there, eat some green porridge. And then Rita will be dropping that, uh, that load into there. And she grabbed one on her own? No, she didn't. Let's get you. Yeah, let's get everybody eating at the same time. You cannot, Edmund's got to grab it first now she can and Carter you are over there constructing a fence as soon as she she probably already did yeah grab a grain porridge Rita didn't did she oh she did okay so kind of nice to have everyone sit down at once and maybe you can get some interesting conversations going and it doesn't happen whoa where we rotted a bunch of hay away but I've never seen the hay unless you are somewhere else. Is there still hay sitting out in the field? Oh, uh, maybe there was. Right there? No? Huh. Bummer. 
Did we? We didn't. We should probably plant some hay, huh? <laughs> Can we go over here with it? We're kind of running out of real estate over here. I want more more important items over in that side so farming we have never researched it ah okay well brick making is going to be coming up soon and i finally took a closer look at it three haze makes five bricks so i guess we just don't include the clay maybe in addition to the game later We'll uh, discuss future research with Rita. Okay. Maybe um, later clay will become an item a thing. You know, this dirt looks like it could have some clay in it. It's quite, uh, quite reddish colored. Okay, Carter's constructing. Edmund is constructing. Rita is cooking. And Paulette is tailoring. And Simon is on his way back with 240. Which I was curious about why... Rita could carry 240, but Paulette couldn't. Then I remembered that has to do with your physical. Rita is physical one, Paulette is physical zero, so she can't haul as much. Simon is physical two. I thought he would have more than 240 in in his uh, in his arms, but I guess 240 is apparently a max. But um, yeah, Paulette couldn't can only handle 200 last episode. But I think that explains why that was so i don't get any sense this is degrading i wish i could have seen maybe i'll when i edit this video i'll look back at just quick camera movements and see if there was any hay sitting in here if there's not then it must have been out there on the ground over there it will rot this is uh sticks laying on the ground right here and it's got it, you know it's already lost 10 percent of its life this is do i have any hay at all. If I were to do this, I get 144 sticks and 60 wood, but no hay. Okay. So we are out of hay in the sense that of what's nearby. We got some out over here. We need to research some. So as much as I want to get electrical going, I probably should get a garden of hay going. So Simon, you are... Over here, probably grabbing some food, right? Yeah, you're getting some porridge to eat. Okay, so Rita, you get caught up on new meals. Oh, I was about to say, hopefully this heat wave goes away soon, but it appears to be gone. And I didn't get a pop-up that it went away, so I guess you just have to notice. Edmund is constructing a door. And yet, I can't get you to construct a floor, can I? So, Edmund, if I were to have you... Yeah, you cannot do a wall or a floor, but you can do just about everything else. That is interesting. We have a second... No, we don't. Second fireplace. When that gets built, then... I'll make sure to extinguish that. Edmund just reached it. Edmund, can you now build? You still cannot... You still have insufficient skill to build a floor. Can you build a wall? You cannot build a wall either. Wow. Okay, well, you keep building all these little things. Carter, don't build the walls. Don't build the doors. Let uh, let Edmund do that. You throw me up some, uh, some floors over here. Waiting. Construct wooden floors. You do that instead. Let Edmund construct the rest of these. But can you get this fireplace going? Um, insufficient what? Waiting for other construction. Oh, you have to get the floor in first. So, Carter, can you build the floor over here? Wooden wall, start a fire. Okay, maybe I missed it over here. Uh, wooden walls, how about the floor? Is there a floor underneath this yet? There we go. Carter, this floor. Gotcha. You build that floor instead. Edwin can't build that, but he can build the door which got built yeah or something like that anyway <laughs> so what's happening over here simon so do i get you to i think i do why don't you run over here and spend the day making this research happen observe blade grass that is our closest one now right that's not i don't think there is anything else nearby that was the only patch yeah. Anything out over here if we need some? What are you? 
you are oh tobacco which we need to get going too so much to do so little time yep got bugs out there bugs out there but i don't know if these guys were here before i saw that we've got quite a little herd forming here otherwise when i was out wandering and saw the see where was i when i saw the fireflies which are probably now looking like uh, just butterflies i don't see them anymore I didn't see any other animals that had been there before. Well, there's another herd over here. This map does go on for quite some time. We rarely see much of it. Insufficient fuel, so we need to get more of the of the glitter caps harvested. And so we can make you go away, you go away, and Rita is cooking. We got one more meal for each of us. You do. So when you're done with this one, let's just make one day's worth at a time since we don't have refrigeration. Harvest you. Rita Reach cooking five. Nice. She will plow through these even faster now. Um, let's just have you go there directly. Let's harvest some glitter caps. There you go. And soon I will have... I would think Simon can blast through this pretty quickly. At least before the day's over. Then tomorrow we can have you plant a big, uh, well, hopefully over here, a big crop of, of uh, blade grass, I think it is, for the hay. Yeah. Car to reach construction six. That just happened. Yeah. So up in here, you got... That floor is built. Edmund, you are cutting bushes. We actually don't need any more of that what we need is the stuff hauled which was sitting right over here how about you do that for me um haul sticks let's get these into a stockpile um when you're done go ahead and haul these sticks as well that should pretty much clear it all out uh insufficient fuel oh she is harvesting them and we're our deficit is going away we do need some more stone probably for the uh, fireplace there. Now, you've kind of crept over into our area. I'm going to find out what you eat pretty soon, aren't we? Yeah. And Rita, that's probably enough. Are you able to jump into something? Your relaxation's a little low, but you do enjoy what you're doing, so you're in a good mood. Let's have you complete some planting. Let's plant... Let's plant everything. We need to get everything in the ground and at least starting to grow soon including get more of the uh, of our of our corn going we're gonna go through that stuff pretty quick all right so Edmund is transporting Paulette she went to us to go get some okay um at the very least Paulette can you instead get these refueled so that they are uh, valid for us and there's no stone so never mind on that one okay so do that instead get those going and so we've got more relaxation options available to us so Carter actually yeah I've kind of gotten myself distracted here you are Carter handling a shroom torch how I didn't think we had enough stone Maybe the stone get, did get delivered. Okay. Once you do that, can you break? You're in pretty good shape. So... Oh, you were handling the other one for Paulette. Now you're constructing a floor. Let's get you to get back over here and continue building. In fact, let's construct those floors. Go grab a whole bunch of wood. Or not oh there's a log sitting here <laughs> that's it huh oh well you'll get it all done eventually but yeah this one's this one's kind of important i do want to see this one finished and yes they do like to build walls first no matter i put the walls in last when i when i set this thing up but that's the first thing he wanted to build so walls have a higher priority in this game kind of like in banished you accidentally drop a bunch of roads nothing is going to get built until all of those roads are in these are the skin barks 
Okay. And you... Who is this? Carter. He is off to go pick up some more wood next. Great. So, what else is happening out here? We're getting there. Edmund, where are you? You are getting something to eat. That noise was blade grass. Good. Simon's on his way back. Simon, can you pick up anything on your way? Out of curiosity, is there anything else sitting out here? Um, did Edmund make both trips? He did. We do have wood out here. You get that on your way back and... Yeah, I have really nowhere for you to put it. I mean, it won't save us that much time. So I guess just come on back. Um, Simon, you're not in that bad a shape. Average mood. Dare I send you on a walkabout to go get what's left over here? I mean, you're partially there now anyway. What is left? Um, 52 wood. And 162 berries. And something over there. 166 berries. That sounds pretty important to me. So, Simon, come on over and haul in the rest of these. Dare we get... Do we, do we waste the time to come and pick up 52 logs? I guess they're going to do it anyway. Next time something needs to be built and they need more wood, they're just going to go on a long trip. And it's going to be quite a while before it rots. So yeah, I think we should specifically set up a trip to do that. Do I have them take down one more tree while we're here? Could do that. There are no... Well, that's further away. Let's make it right next door. So let's set you up for cut. And maybe tomorrow I'll have Edmund come out and cut that down. And then bring the logs back. We'll see. Um, Edmund is hauling, handling wall torches. Kind of getting all that going. We do need... Edmund, why don't you come over here and break up some, some stones. Edmund. Uh, mind that. We do need some light over here. For the cook stove. So, we do need to get that going sooner than later. Um, Paulette is eating. Meals got through the day. We got through the day and we have enough to get through tomorrow. So how fast is this falling apart on us? This is coffee. There we go. Porridge is right there. And porridge is already down to 88. So it should be fun. Oh, that's right. The heat wave is over. Okay. So maybe we can get back to two days worth of food before it rots on us. Okay. Blade grass. I took a sample of the blade grass while observing it. Growing and harvesting it won't be too hard, as long as one's careful with the razor-sharp edges of the grass. Talk about a fitting name. So we can plant it for hay. Okay, so let's set that up now. Rita's gets up knee. Carter's constructing floor still. Paulette is transporting. So she's making, um, uh, taking a walk. Okay, so she's going to use up all of our shrooms isn't she that's her, her glitter caps 25 left so edmund transporting that and then i want you to immediately oh you're transporting it good then immediately construct it okay good so that will guarantee that that those glitter caps get used where we need them to be before they're all turned into healing bomb okay i was just about to do something let's farm blade grass and we're a 90% growth over here. That's not bad. I'll take it. So let's set up probably two big patches. Something like... Let's go in a bit, just in case I want to add more building for some reason. Put you in and grab a... Oh, we'll leave two spaces for a good walkway right there. And let's put in another one. Yeah, we'll go out as far... We'll go out as far as there. Okay, so that's that's our hay field over there. The back 40. And uh, we'll get into farming simulator soon and bring the harvester out. And <laughs> Catherine made up a made a point in one of the comment sections. She said, "How come we don't have wheelbarrows?" I agree. I mean, seriously, some of the research here, we're going to eventually have laser pistols and automated turrets and power cells. You think we could put together a, a wheelbarrow or a, uh, 
a quad, you know, some kind of a vehicle. I mean, we got veggie leather for tires, and yeah, we should be. We've got we got fuel. <laughs> we we need a little vehicle. We need to we need to drive out there and go haul. You know, toss all the the the, the logs into the the pickup bed and drag it all back. Yeah, you guys write into the developers and and uh, tell them we we need vehicles. Carter is grabbing something to eat. And Paula is crafting. Rita is sleeping. Edmund is going to sleep. Oh, we're still transporting. We're just coming back. Simon is going to be pretty cranky tomorrow morning. I better not bother him. Though tomorrow I would really like him and Edmund to get out there and research both the shiny rock and the interesting rock. And get that into our arsenal. How do we do here? Not bad. Edmund still can't do it, can he? Yeah. Carter. Carter, when you're done, come build just this last one. Not floor times five. Just floor. But, okay, do the one. Just in case we get that that ominous noise tonight that an attack is rolling in and they need to sleep and so there's not going to be time. Uh, Carter is constructing a floor. Well, I wish I could just get you to come out here. Just walk this way. I can't. Okay, never mind. Go to sleep. And we now have liquid fuel. Highly flammable substances used as fuel. So what does that open up for us? Does that do something? Long distance travel. It does open it up. Let's get rid of spaceship deconstruction and toss this in. Where'd you go? I want to see what's out there. It also gave us incendiary traps and flamethrowers. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's getting exciting. For those of you who have not seen this game before, the end scenario, the, the, the end game version of this colony is going to look so much different concrete and brick and space age or at least you know modern era everything so there is quite a progression through the tech tree am i running i am so everyone's sleeping carter you're you're in a good mood you're in pretty good shape once you get done first thing in the morning let's have you dive back into this so if i hit Construct floors now with a shift. It doesn't wake you up. Good. And what just flew in over here? I saw you. It was a, a pancoth. Looked like he was flying in to roost. No, I guess not. Is he on the ground? I was going to flag him for research, but no. Nah. So we got a couple of these around. What was that noise? Like someone was snoring. I think Edmund's snoring. Yeah, he's a little bit. That wasn't the noise that I heard. That noise. If I stay here. It only happens when I talk. Oh well. Looks like the sun's coming up. Starting into the day. Alright, so everyone's sound asleep. Edmund's waking up. How is he doing mood-wise? He needs some relaxation and some food. Then he'll be in great shape. And when you're... Actually, when you're done, why don't you come on over and write us a short story? That'd be a great thing. You are... Oh, I saw that over his head and thought he was eating sweet syrup. But he's just grabbing some, some oatmeal. Some cornmeal. Yeah, some grain meal. There we go. Paulette went straight to crafting. Does she... She doesn't get a bonus from that. No. Um, she enjoyed a beverage, ate a tasty meal, she slept in a comfy bed. She had a pleasant walk. She sat down and relaxed, had many fun things to do, enough food variety, ate at a table. She's in pretty good shape. Yep. So, Paulette is getting... She's, yeah, she's going to go through 
which isn't a bad thing really i mean i would like the glitter caps for other things but we do need the ability to heal ourselves so yeah that's it's important as well rita is playing some music edmund wrote four stories which is nice and he gets a bonus for doing the writing too something just made a noise maybe i'm hearing that but he wrote a short story so he gets a plus 18 and now he is handling a distillery oh we have a distillery now okay so moonshine is available and it is set up as a one-time thing just to remind us that it's there and then we'll go ahead and shut it down now it makes five all right so once that's done we're not going to make this a daily habit but uses a hundred grain no we're not going to use you're not going to make this as a daily habit but it'd be nice to see it one time and then later when we've got a you know a grain field the size of all of this then maybe we'll we'll, we'll see what negative effects we get from it carter is grabbing the uh, the logs that he didn't get last time so you're going to need 40 right yeah don't know what you actually grabbed too bad there isn't a number over the top of that so i can see what he's up to but hopefully that's enough to finish off these and then maybe even the roof next and then i guess we're done we're ready to uh to give this a test yeah i keep hearing that noise so i think it's these guys i think they get kind of a noise that just kind of comes off from the back corner of my studio <laughs> what was that yeah this round sounds fun. I never had that before. Um, Carter's cutting. I'm mean, Edmund is cutting. So Edmund, you're in good shape now, aren't you? Everything but relaxation. So that wasn't enough. Let's have you appreciate, and then I'm going to send you out to do some research. You're capable of doing this. So let's get. Let's get this one going observe the shiny rock simon you are working on our electronics boy i would really like to get that one done too i'm guessing the shiny rock does silicon and actually we've got that from the other plants now let's have you instead well i can't now you got to get your your uh, appreciating a shroom torch done yeah, Edmund, where are you? Did you make it back to that? You did not. You're still cutting. Okay, let's do it this way. Directly appreciate. There. And now I can reassign you over here. And you do both, and that is your job for the day. Get those observed so we can take those down next episode and get a bunch of ore and get a bunch of, of alloy in stock over here. Now, you are definitely not degrading. I'm not missing anything, right? No, nope, none of this is falling apart. Not even what should be falling apart. Okay, we're, we're safe. I never have really seen them use these chairs. Guess we need another celebration, another campfire night. Who is going woo? Oh, Carter is. He's just having a ball down there. Yeah, insufficient materials. So we've got, yeah, we're, we're working on that. Carter is observing the shiny rock, so I gave him the orders instead. Yeah, I did. All right, come on over here one more time and construct my five floors. Can you do that? And Edmund, you are observing the shiny rocks, the, 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 the shroom torch. Let's try that again. And now you are going to observe the interesting rock. Okay, Rita is getting grain okay can you haul it all in so we are out of all oh, the grains back here okay um tell you what instead haul grain bring that in instead oh i'm on edmund again Arr! i look at her and it feels like i've clicked on her that's the difference between recording a game observe and playing a game my brain just said, okay, I said Rita. So I'm on Rita mode now, and Rita has must have been clicked because she's she's on my mind at the moment. Okay, so you haul all these in before this dude. Yeah, you get out of here. 
All right, haul these in, haul those in, and then make a whole bunch of porridge. And I wish you could put them on a shelf over here where it's closer to you, but no, nope, not going to happen. Okay. So these fuel tin, I wish I knew if this was just constantly burning and in two days and 23 hours it's going to wear out whether or not we actually use the stove or not. I don't know. Hmm. I guess I, well, I could extinguish one of them and then just turn it on when we need to. Yeah. Though I do want to see this get completed. I don't want to click it and have all that just go to waste. So let's hover for a little bit. Almost there. Now what happens? Never actually watched this through. So it finished. She's hauling it away. And we're done. So you are going to be extinguished. So let's have Rita actually do that right now. Uh, handle cook stove. You'll extinguish that. You now still have lost harvest. What does that mean? These are great. Oh, that's what that means, dude. Okay, note to self. Dragonflies also like glitter caps. They like blade grass. They like um, these guys. And I think they like these guys. Yeah, they are a little bit of a pest. They actually are. Let's, let's just set you up for hunt and see a hunt happen. Hunt, Rita, why don't you do that? Uh, hunt flying insect. Let's watch this. I haven't uh, seen a hunt happen other than last time when... Okay, and that's it. Good shot. Okay, so haul that in, Rita. Let's finish the hunt. Butcher, flying insect. Now, butcher happens on the ground right here. Then you haul that in, we'll have a little more bug meat, which probably needs to go right into a fermentation barrel because that has got to be rotting here any moment now. It's been a while since we've made meat soup. And I don't know if it resets and becomes 100% good after we make the only eight of them? Really? It's 48 is not enough to do it. Okay. Well, how bad is our... Let's see. If I click on it here, we're at 54%. All right, so in that case, Rita, are you able to do whatever I want? You are. So let's have you then make uh, meat soups. And there you go. So you work on meat soups for a while. Simon is eating porridge. Carter's constructing floors. Um, but not these floors. Let's get the roof done so we can call this structure finished. Carter! Yep, yep, did it again. Construct the roof times two. Roof times two. How is that two roofs? Huh. I don't know. Car Edmund? Almost called you Carter. You are not as fast of, as, of an observer, but you are pretty good. So I'm pretty sure you'll be done in time. Except for food, you're in pretty good shape, too. There's a lot of something going on over here. There's that noise again. Yeah. Oh, that was a Pankoth noise. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get you observed again one of these days. Um, Simon, are you going to get our uh, research, our electronics done today? 66... You might not. Hmm. Who else can research alongside you? It'd be nice to see what all happens when that when that happens. Activities, research. Actually, Carter, Paulette, and Rita are all pretty even. Paulette, what you working on right now? You're working on choose. Why don't you come over and give Simon a hand? Why don't you research with him? Just for fun. See if you can give him just enough of a boost that by 20 or 2100 
we can have this one done and we can see what's going on with electronic crafting. Come on, show me that 70. Maybe they can pull it off. We'll see. Edmund would have been the better partner, but he's all the way out there. All right, so Carter, what you got? Oh, so each half? Yeah, apparently it's one half or the other. Okay, but let's get this put together and see what we've got. Oh, I guess it would have helped if I turned roofs on. There we go. <laughs> but now I kind of wonder if this structure should have been bigger. Should have gone from this point over and really protected us. Let's do that. Yeah, why not? Deconstruct you. Deconstruct you. And Carter, why don't you come and do that? And then let's throw in a housing roof wood from here over to here. You're not going to let me until that is deconstructed. Uh, Carter, let's do that immediately instead of eventually. There we go. I want to see this done. And yeah, it does look kind of, kind of wimpy. Let's get a bigger roof in there. Don't know when the first flying bug attack hits us. Maybe we need to research them first to know what a flying bug is. But you get that one done. There's, there's a big one. That wasn't that shadow. I wish I could see the, 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 wait a minute. Did I just, up in here, that big shadow that just went by. I can never see the bird that makes that shadow up there. Where was it? Oh, it was over here. That one? No, that's... Oh, it is sunset. The sun is over on that side now. Where is the sun now? Huh. <laughs> it was a dragon. It was this guy. Casting a long shadow. You'd think there'd be a sun right over here. Hmm. Anyway, no, enough distractions. Carter, don't go anywhere. Okay, housing. Roof wood. From rotate from that corner or that corner. From that corner out over to... Oh, I can't. You have to add these tiles in in order to put a roof over it. So where's the control Z? I want to undo. <laughs> okay. Housing, roof, wood. You can only go from there to there. So would it look better to go this way or this way? Let's go this way this time. All right, Carter. Let's let's just make this happen. Yeah, I know, I know. He's cursing me under his breath. Okay, Paulette and Simon are researching. We're at 1,800 and we're at 80%. We're not going to do it. It's not going to happen this time. So next time we will have electronics crafting figured out. So Paulette, you go ahead and do whatever you wish. We lost more harvest. So Rita, food-wise, meal-wise, we are in decent enough shape. So Rita, come on out and get these harvested. Like that. Drop those on the ground. Somebody will, I'm sure, get the order to pick them up because we are losing harvest big time out here. So harvest those and then harvest these and that'll be your evening. You could use a, a meal eventually. Um, wow, we're losing harvest quick over here, aren't we? There's. So you are... Oh, they're just falling apart right under us. Paula, or uh, Rita, we're over here real quick. Harvest these things. They're they're dying. I don't know why. Apparently, after a while, they just yeah, the little corn cobs are falling off of them. So you quickly get these guys harvested, and let's see if we can save some of this. Then we need to get it planted again. So tell you what, Paulette, you are going to run the cook stove for a while. Why don't you make some more meat soups, and we're gonna let Rita be Rita instead of be Paulette. Yeah, we're, we're losing this harvest fast. So you harvest whatever you can there. And Carter is constructing a roof begrudgingly, growling and grumbling at the same time. And we're ready for our next bug attack. Edmund, whatever happened to you? You were almost there. 20 hundred. You're going to be starving. Um, 
you're still in a decent mood, so you can put you can you can handle it. Otherwise, yeah, we're losing the rest of that harvest. It's it's gone. Okay, so twenty hundred. Let's have you I guess put that on a shelf. Then walk over and haul this real quick since you're that's Edmund. Err. Never mind. Get back and do that. Observe. And Rita, haul that, and then quickly walk over, and then continue harvesting this until you can't see straight anymore. All right, put that on the shelf since you're so close. Paulette is transporting her meat soup, and we still have 28. She's eating it. Now let's do one more round here. Quick meat soup, grab me 20 of those. Oh, only 10. Discovered ore. Great. Interesting rock holds some metal ore, which could be mined and smelted into alloys. Okay. Perfect. So next episode, we'll send Carter and Edmund out there, harvest all of that ore. In fact, let's go ahead and queue it all up. So out of here. Actually, let's go a little further. Out of all of here. Let's grab all of the ore deposits and mine. And I think there was some... In here, uh, ore deposits, mine. Though there's also some shiny rocks in there, which we'll get to someday. Um, any ore in this area? Don't see any. Okay. So beyond that, I miss anything out over here? Or No. So that is all the ore, though I'll go ahead and scan through here but I'm pretty sure we did that before and there was nothing ore deposits too uh, mind you so that's one where's the other I don't know click away huh does that somehow count as two? Oh, it does one two Okay, they're right next to each other. Okay, so that is all of the ore in the area. Though That's right. Last time we had Edmund look at some ore that was hiding over here, right? And he ended up using it up. So if we do that, two ores. All right, well, mine you as well. All right, so that's done. Carter's constructing the roof. And it is done. So there is our new defensive structure. And soon, we're going to get to test this one. Now, they're not going to be able to shoot from, say, here to a bug trying to chew on this fence. But they should be able to walk over to here and hit it. And or walk over to here to hit one that's over there. One that is too close for standing here to hit them because this is in the way. That's my, my logic here. We'll see if it works out. So there should be no point on this structure where... Except for maybe right there, that standing right here, still this fence will be in the way, a line of sight of hitting them. So there may still be an, an occasional blind spot, but for the most part, we should be able to stop and pause and move and get a new a, a new uh, you know point of of uh, oh what what, am, what word am I trying to say here to be able to hit them. <laughs> it's late. Words are hard. <laughs> anyway, I'm running. Am I done? They're done. They're all sound asleep. I've done two days. It's probably a good time to call this one finished. Um, glance through my notes here real quick. Anything I forgot to do? We just got the, the logs out there to pick up at some point, so I'll make a note of that. But I think we're done. So let's call this one finished. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.